All right, so a couple things before we even start getting into these bags. They are both built completely the same. They are not just built for kids, okay? You can take this bag, go out into the woods, and survive in it. Doesn't matter what age you are, you can just take it and go, all right? That's what I wanted this to be in case somebody else needed it. Let's say we weren't even home. I could also tell somebody as an adult, go grab those two bags and then you can go out into the woods and survive. Either it, There should not be an age limit on your survival kit. That's the theme that you're gonna see throughout here. Now, the only difference is, and I'm not gonna go into it, is you should have some type of identification for your children. Uh, laminate it, waterproof it, whatever it is, contact information. Uh, they also have these electronic devices that you can put on a bag. I think it's the cube. I think that's a good idea. It's like a tracker or, or something like that. So you would put it on a bag and if, if you got separated from your kid, providing that the grid was still up, you can at least find the bag and hopefully your kid was still attached to it. I think that's a great idea. Any type of tracker that you want to put on those bags is fine. Understand they do work on technology and they do work on batteries. So as long as your cell phone works and as long as you have good batteries in there, it should be available and you should be able to use it, okay? Uh, identifying features, again, like I have two different colors, just so my kids know which, one's, which one is theirs. It could be black, it could be red. If you wanted to go cheaper, these are built off Jansport. The Jansport, the only difference here is everything inside these bags are Velcro lined. Um, on the back of these bags, you can see it's very, very well built. Let me pull out a little bit, there you go. On the back of these bags, you can see that it is cushioned. All right, it is cushioned. It has uh, one, two D-rings. It also has a sternum strap, which is adjustable. It also has a waist strap, which is adjustable, okay? These bags, also it has a quick release. So if you need to get out of the bag, you can. There's no strapping on the bottom or grommets, but there is on the side. Okay, so if you wanted to add more molly, you can. Nice, tough uh, grab handle. You have main compartment, you have a secondary compartment inside here, and you have a quick department with uh, white KK zippers, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this back a little bit, and then we'll get into the bags. All right, so like I, like I said, somewhere inside this bag, there should be a laminate. Uh, I took it all out because obviously YouTube. Um, laminate contact information for all your relatives. Uh, again, if the child gets lost, who to contact, what their location is, couple locations, any uh, identification paperwork, social security number, birth certificate, make copies of that and put it inside this bag and make sure you laminate it or waterproof it. Also add pictures of the family. So uh, myself, my wife and the kids, they all have a picture and make sure that picture is updated as well. Also, add some cash in the bag. If your child gets lost, at least you have a little bit of money. He can go buy himself a drink or herself a drink or something like that. Food, whatever they need to survive uh, while they're waiting to get picked up, okay? So again, uh, Cador, uh, really nice bag, okay? Up top real quick, inside here, I got an N100 mask, little PPE, okay? That's it, so I have some glasses. These are 3M glasses, and I have some PPE. We all know that we live in the world of coronavirus. Those little garbage masks that they, they sell, the surgeon masks, those are not good masks. Get something with particulates. Let's get into the main pouch. Okay, on the main pouch, i show you a couple things here, all right? So inside here, I just have a wash towel. This is a hand towel. You know how dirty kids are. Have some type of games. I don't care if it's coloring books. I don't care if it's card games. I don't care if it's Legos. Just put something in there, okay? They need to be entertained. If you have children, you want them to be quiet, they need to be entertained, all right? Food bag. Now, I know some people are gonna scoff at all the sugars and stuff that's in here, but Motivation is going to be key when it comes to children, and children like food. Uh, you're going to have to feed them. There's some Cheetos and some Smarties, but I like to put in there some raisins, some peanut butter, trail mix, um, some gummy bears, uh, uh, 
nut and crunch, uh, whatever, granola bars, some, you know, hard candies. The stuff that you want to put in here is going to last a little bit. Again, if your kids are like mine, he's probably going to eat through all this in one day. So you, as the parent, are going to carry all the heavy nutritionist foods. These are just snacks. These are just something to motivate your child, get them through the day, that kind of thing. Okay. So hard candies is good to go. Just keep them in the bag. All right. Hygiene. All right, this is a big bag of hygiene, as you can see right here. Again, SOE. This happens to be in uh, M81 camouflage woodland pattern. Inside here, I have a washcloth. Make sure you have oral dental care, SPF 30, mouthwash. Again, depending, you know, all of this stuff should be monitored with a child. Um, baby powder hand sanitizer, bug spray, tissues, Q-tips, again monitored, bar soap, two sets of wet ones, um, there is chapstick, there is Tums in here, again I would not give that to a child, that's if there is an adult that needed this, uh, head to toe, Head & Johnson's baby shampoo, Peroleum jelly, basically first aid skin protector. So if they get a rash or something like that, and clear eyes again, more likely for an adult than a child. But again, I wanted to have some. I wanted to have a cross-platform bag in case somebody else needed it. They have it. All of this is going to be done under the supervision of, a, of an adult. Okay. I have a brand new Sunto Coppice. Again, this is more part of that motivation. I like to show my child how to navigate, how to use all the buttons and stuff on there. So I gave, left it brand new in the packaging just so I could show him and he'll appreciate it, okay? Arctis uh, Heavy Duty Survival Blanket. I like this blanket, it's really heavy duty. Um, I've seen where children's bags were stuffed with those uh, Mylar blankets, the little space blankets. I don't know about you, but um, buy the good shit. It's your child. I, I want my kid to survive, so I'm gonna buy the good stuff. That's a very heavy duty blanket. They're not cheap, but it's worth it, and it's an orange. Also, you can get a bivy if you want, okay? Uh, rain poncho, all right? Again, I've seen people go to Wally Martin, buy the crappy little tiny, uh, no, get a good rain poncho. This is military grade, heavy duty, um, it has, uh, it's, it's basically a heavy duty nylon tarp with a, a hood in it. Now, again, it's adult size. So if your child's small, it might be a little bit long, but I'd rather them be long, uh, and dry than wet. Okay. So camouflage, they like camouflage. So I figured I'd give that to them. All right. Water purification. This is a water bottle that has a filter already in it. All right, so make it very easy for them to use it, okay? So they just put the water in there. You don't have to do anything. There's no cooking, there's no boiling, there's nothing like that. You just put the water in there. Again, to each his own, what you wanna put in there as far as uh, you know what type of water filtration you wanna use, but make it simple, okay? Medical, all right? Each kid should carry their own medical kit, again, with supervision. There's some meds in here, but again, if it's, if it wasn't child safe, I wouldn't put it in there. A um, lot of lot of band aids. Kids get hurt all the time, so gauze pads, band aids, uh, tape, gloves, um, ace bandages, triangle bandages. A lot of burn cream. Tons and tons and tons of band aids because kids get hurt all the time. Scrape knees. I also have a flashlight in there, uh, so you can see in the dark. Also. This is optional, but I recommend it. Just have one water bladder in there. It doesn't have to be filled, but this is a old school USGI water bladder. If nothing else, if this fails, at least you have a second. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, well, why don't you use the metal ones? Well, I don't wanna use a metal canteen because I don't want my kids trying to boil water until they're of age, okay? So you gotta be very careful when it comes to kids. I know if I can find a fresh uh, fresh uh, drinking source of water, I could fill this up. Uh, maybe before we leave, if the water's still good, I'll fill this up, throw it in the pack, 
and then we have enough water for everybody. Now understand that the pack's gonna get a lot heavier with all this water, but at least we have it. And if nothing else, they can just carry the water bladder and then at least he'll have something, okay? All right, so inside here, show you a little something. So inside here, again, this is lined with Velcro, all right? SOE also sells uh, Velcro peel off panels, all right? So that makes it very easy for me. So I pull these off. I pull these off, okay, and you can see one's in red and then one's in blue, all right? So they'll be able to take a look at what I have in here. Again, inside here, we're gonna talk about some other stuff. So I have chem lights, all different colors. I have a headlamp, different methods, different strobes, a spool tool, okay? Spool tool with lighter. Again, under supervision, make sure that, you know, your kids know about fire. A K-Bar uh, Eaton Spork. So this is the spork knife. If you pull it apart, you have a knife on this side, spork on that side. And what that does is it allows me to compartmentalize all this stuff and not slosh around in the bag, all right? Yeah, it's a little, it, it adds a little bit of bulk, but not enough to not have it, okay? So I'm a big fan of that. All right, so, and lastly, this is the survival kit. Uh, I, this is actually Velcro backed. Uh, it doesn't come this way, but what I did is I created both of, I created two survival kits. Again, this is the SE, uh, SE tin. It's aluminum. This is the cooking tin. All right. And inside here I have specific items that again will have to be adult supervised. Uh, you just don't want to give them this tin. There is a Swiss army knife in there, which is again, which is why I want it to be supervised. But what this allows me to do is once the kit is together and if there's things in there that i'm not comfortable with or somebody else is not comfortable with i could pull them out into a different bag again that's why i have this separate bag all right so inside here very simply a just uh, orange bandana you can buy these on amazon i'll put all the links down below and it just gives you some survival information also it's orange and gives you directions and all kinds of cool stuff but I think uh, having a cotton bandana anywhere on your kit is pretty important. All right, so I have a candle in here. That's one of those emergency candles. I have go fires. This is to get the fire going if you need to. I have a signal mirror or a craft mirror. Very important, some snare wire. Portable aqua, okay, so in case, uh, I need to, in case this doesn't work. Again, this is the Swiss Champ, all right, again, this is going to be, have to be supervised because it does have a blade on it. Again, very careful, you can take this out, omit it, put it in a bag until they're old enough, but this has all the tools that I want. All right, it has that, it has a saw, different pliers, scissors, uh, that kind of thing, all right? So again, you would have to be uh, adult supervised, but duct tape, orange, I have a small compass, watch compass, something to write with, a little Sharpie, a whistle. This is one of those little tiny flashlights, threw that in there. Inside here, I have waterproof storm matches. And this is one of the Randall's adventure training and it has all the little survival tips. That's just another card. I have a big lighter, orange, and then of course, index cards okay so if i needed to write something down i have the pen and i have the paper and of course this is an isbit stove or this one's called nasit but basically what it is it's a stove that you open it up and it has um, tablets in there so that you can set this up here and boil water if you need to okay so let me just put all this stuff uh back and then uh we'll talk about it all right guys so honestly um, when you're traveling with children, obviously their needs are going to have to come first, but you're still going to have to find shelter. Shelter is going to be huge. I do not recommend in any way, shape or form to take your children out on the road if you have, a, unless you have no other choice. Honestly, most people, what they would do is just take their gear, their equipment, and then they would go to their in-laws house, their family's house, somewhere uh, where they can shelter up, maybe go to a hotel. 
those type of things are probably more realistic uh, but again this type of kit just having enough supplies on hand to make sure that the kids have what they need um, whether it is uh, an adult there um, you know is going to be prevalent throughout the whole survival situation all right so depending on your kids needs there might be other medications there may be special needs considerations that kind of thing if you have pets you would have to also have a separate type of bag for pets that kind of thing so the idea behind this was just to give you a little bit of an idea of what you uh, might want to put into a bag this is not the uh, end all of the things that you should have but just have something have something like it's still the same thing 10 C's of survival, all that stuff. Uh, but again, with adult supervision, it doesn't mean that this kid or kids are going out to the wild to survive by themselves uh, unless they're 18 years old and can do so, okay? Um, so that's about it, guys. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Put all your information down below. I hope I gave you some ideas and some tips. I uh, really appreciate uh, all your feedback. All right, thank you. And as always, guys, please stay safe.